I've been seeing this girl for around nine months now. She's a wonderful person. Always been the light of my day. She has her quirks, but everyone does. And that's just what makes us who we are, I suppose. One of her quirks is her sleep texting. I will wake up in the morning usually to three or four text messages from her. Most of the time, it's just a gargled message of autocorrects and letters jumbled into nonsensical words. Most of the time. That was until last night. It was around 3 a.m., I believe, when I was awoken by my phone vibrating. I rolled over and picked up my phone to see that I had just received a text from my girlfriend. A part of me thought about not even looking at it and just going back to sleep. The paranoid, anxiety-driven part of me, however, wanted to know if something was wrong. So I opened the text. Tom. That was all it said. I found this particularly odd for several reasons, one being that the message made decent sense. I mean, it was my name. However, my girlfriend never calls me Tom. It was always Thomas. My curiosity got the better of me, and I responded... Almost immediately after I sent the text, I received one. Help. The hair stood up on the back of my neck. I felt a cold shiver and my stomach tossed. I immediately stood up, got changed, and got into my car. It was only a short drive to her house, but it felt like hours. I decided I would phone her on the way to her house. After a few minutes, the line connected. On the other side, I couldn't hear anything except for muffled breathing. I said hello several times as panic and fear overtook me. As I said hello for the fourth time, I heard something. I heard the sound of feet shuffling and then a deep, quiet, hysterical laugh. I screamed into the phone, demanding to know who had my girlfriend's phone. But it was too late, and they hung up. I soon arrived at my girlfriend's house. I threw my car into park and ran up her walkway. I opened the door quicker than I ever had before. I ran into her room expecting a horrible scene. What I saw next blew me away. My girlfriend was lying on her bed, sleeping. I slowly walked towards her and woke her up. As she awoke, she was surprised to see me, which I found incredibly odd. I asked her if she was all right, and she responded with yes in a quiet tone. I checked her phone, but there was no record of the text messages or the phone calls. I checked underneath her bed, and I walked around her house to make sure nothing was out of the ordinary, and nothing was. Was I just imagining things? Did, did I imagine all the text messages, the phone call? Nonetheless... I stayed with my girlfriend for about an hour, who fell back into a deep sleep almost immediately. When my panic and anxiety slowly died down, I stood up from her bed and showed myself out of the house. As I walked down the path, I ran through what just occurred over and over in my mind. The drive home took longer than usual. My mind was still racing over the possible scenarios that could have played out. As I pulled into my driveway, I felt the vibration of my phone in my jean pocket. Fear once again crept up on me as I slid open the message from my girlfriend. You forgot to check the closet. <laughs>